Hello, I'm Pastor Don Smith from the Waynesfield Baptist Church in Waynesfield, Ohio. We're located at 512 North Westminster Street in Waynesfield. Our worship times are at 8.30 a.m. with Sunday school at 9.30 for all ages, and we worship again at 10.30 a.m. You can find us on YouTube and Facebook, and on Wednesdays mornings you can find our devotional on uh, both of those, YouTube and Facebook. Come and join us, and we'll be glad to see you. It's another uh, blessed and honored uh, time I have when I'm <clears throat> able to come and deliver the Wednesday devotional this Wednesday. Um, today I'm going to be reading Exodus 4, 1 through 17. And Moses answered and said, But behold, they will not believe me, nor hearken unto my voice, for they will say, The Lord hath not appeared unto thee. And the Lord said unto him, What is that in thine hand? And he said, A rod. And he said, Cast it on the ground. And he cast it on the ground, and it became a serpent. And Moses fled from before it. And the Lord said unto Moses, Put thy, forth thine hand, and take it by the tail. And he put forth his hand, and caught it, and it became a rod in his hand. That they may believe that the Lord God of their fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, have appeared unto thee. And the Lord said furthermore unto him, Put now thine hand in thy bosom, 
And he put his hand into his bosom. And when he took it out, behold, his hand was a leper's as snow. And he said, Put thy hand into thy bosom again. And he put his hand into his bosom again and plucked it out of his bosom. And behold, it was turned again as his other flesh. And it shall come to pass, if they will not believe thee, neither hearken to the voice of the first sign, then they will believe the voice of the latter sign. And it shall come to pass, if they will not believe also these two signs, Neither hearken unto thy voice, thou shalt take of the water of the river, pour it upon the dry land, and the water which thou takest out of the river shall become blood unto the dry land. And Moses said unto the Lord, O my Lord, I am not eloquent, neither hear therefore, nor since thou hast spoken unto thee, servant, but I am slow of speech and slow of tongue. And the Lord said unto him, Who hath made man's tongue? Or who maketh the dumb, or deaf, or the seeing, or the blind? Have not I the Lord? Now therefore go, and I will be with thee, thy mouth, and teach thee what thou shalt say. And he said, O oh my Lord, send, I pray ye by the hand of him who thou wilt send. And the anger of the Lord was Kenan against Moses, and he said, It is not is not Aaron the Levite thy brother. I know that he can speak well, and also behold, he cometh forth to meet thee, and when he seeketh thee, he will be glad in his heart. And thou shalt speak unto him, and put words in his mouth, and I will be with thy mouth, and with his mouth, and will teach you what ye shall do. And he shall be thy spokesman unto the people, and he shall be even, he shall be to thee instead of a mouth, and thou shalt be him instead of God. And thou shalt take this rod in thine hand, whatsoever thou do signs. So as we read in there, Moses is having a conversation with God. God's trying to tell Moses, I got things I need you to do. And Moses is sitting there trying to give him every excuse he can. Well, Lord, they're not going to believe me. God said, okay, well, I'll give you some signs that you can perform. So they'll believe you, Moses. Well, Lord, I, I, uh, I can't speak, man. I, I can't do this. I can't speak. The Lord said, okay, well, I'll be your mouthpiece, Moses. You just open your mouth and I'll speak for you. And Moses still, oh, Lord, so I don't, I don't know how I can do this. I can't speak. I'm not eloquent enough. I'm slow of tongue. He said, okay, well, your brother, he can speak. Well, he'll be your mouthpiece. I'll use him through the words I give you and the words that you give to him. I'll be with both of you and we'll bring forth my message, Moses. Moses kind of is, uh, can resemble some of us, you know, this day. We, we, we tend to think that we can't do things for God because of the fact that, you know, I'm not this or I'm not that or uh, I'm not ready for this. Or I'm not ready for that. If God is calling you to do something, he will prepare you and make you ready. He will bring people into your life to prepare you, that will encourage you, that will strengthen you, that will guide you. If he's calling you to do something and it's of God, he'll qualify you. One of the things I want you to think about is we got to stop looking at our own puny ability and listen to what God is calling us to do. Stop thinking about our ability and start thinking about God's word. If David kept looking at himself, he would have not have faced and defeated Goliath. If Peter kept thinking about man's ability, he would not have walked on water. Stop thinking about what you can or cannot do. First thing that Moses did was to look at himself. Who am I? That's back in 311 of uh, when he was having the conversations. That wasn't part of my thing, but it's thrown in there. We lose confidence in doing what God wants us to do if you keep looking at our limitations. God will enable us to do what he calls us to do. That is his plan all along for our life. For us to submit and walk in the path that he has set forth. Another principle I wanted to point out in this message. Give to God what you have 
so that his work can be done. God created this world out of nothing and he has chosen to accomplish his purpose today through us. Look back in the scripture, he asked Moses, what's in your hand? Moses replied, a rod. When God asks a question, it's always for our sake, not his. He already knows the answer to the questions. He's already got the plan set forth. God's not asked question because he doesn't know the answer. Like I said, he already has it set forth. He wants us to know the answer, to know that an ordinary tool when placed in his hand can do wonders. A shepherd's rod is a simple thing, a wooden stick about two meters long. It is a man's tool, but with potential to be God's tool. God said, cast it on the ground. Moses did, and the rod was turned into a snake. God had Moses pick it up again and turn it back into a rod. Leave it in your hand, and it'll just be a stick. Give it to God, and he can make it into a miracle or a sign. I'm going to close with this. Could it be that all the resources that you need are already being presented in front of you? That God's already been trying to have you call this person or call that person or witness to that person or witness this person or you've talked to this other person and they, they, they've given you wisdom and everything of when they witnessed to somebody and already gave you the answers that you easily could use. And above all, talk to God. You can pray and ask for guidance. If you're ever scared and worried about, oh, I don't know what to say to this person, talk to God. Ask for him to guide you. Ask for him to give you the words to encourage that person. And if you get to that point where, you know, you, you've tried and you still have questions, that's okay. Then that's where you take them on to your pastor or another leader or a teacher that you know that has the right answers and knows necessarily more to you. God knows all along, us all along. And he still calls us. Don't underestimate what God can do with the little gifts that you have to offer him. So give him everything you have and just see what he'll do for you. Dear Lord, I ask that you just be with this message. Lord, I ask that it, it encourage and uplift anybody that's out there to let them know that they have a place in God's kingdom. They have a purpose in God's kingdom. That God has things that he wants to use them for and if they just get out of their own way at times and, and ask for you to guide them and ask for you to bring them along, that you will fulfill a purpose that you have for them, that you will bring forth preachers, teachers, singers, worship leaders, that you'll bring all that forward for the goodness and glory of your kingdom. I pray all these things in your heavenly name. Amen. Just sit and wait for all your goodness Hope to feel your presence And I could just stay I could just stay right where I am And hope to feel you Hope to feel something again
soul I will be yours for all my life 